Well, listen, um, first off, just thanks to all of you for taking the time out to be here today. It, it, we really appreciate it. We know everybody's really busy. Um, but most importantly, we just thought it'd be really great within this process that we had music creators actually helping us make these decisions. And that was a really, really big part of this. So uh, welcome to the Alan Slate Juno Masterclass. If you got any thoughts throughout the day, ask, throw them out on the table, don't be quiet. It's not a talent contest. So one thing we've done with this is we partnered with Coalition Music and they have the uh, Canada's Music Incubator. This is about helping artists develop their business. And uh, Coalition Music has created this great program um, an arts entrepreneurs court program and they're really helping people do this so we've, we've sort of taken them and said how could you take that course and help condense it down a little bit and what's really really cool is depending upon who the artists are they're gonna custom build this experience for them around the strengths and weaknesses of each artist so after we make the decisions today they're gonna interview each one of these artists talk to them about what they think their needs are what do they want to achieve in their career and give them the best tools possible so they can go out and, uh, and tackle this big, bold world of music. Yeah, the reason that Keras got involved in the creation of this program is that our current mandate is to promote and celebrate the best in Canadian music. And we felt that we need to be more than just an award show. We want to actually help get artists to the Juno stage. Uh, this program uh, seemed really interesting to me because, uh, you know, we've been a band for a number of years now. and. We've developed sort of a body of knowledge that, that took us probably about eight or nine years to get to. And uh, there are a lot of lessons that would have been nice to, to have learned earlier on in the process. Uh, so I think uh, something like this program will help artists kind of find some of those answers a little more quickly and, and avoid heartache <laughs> like most bands have to go through. This day and age with the music industry being how it is, there's not a lot of resources for new and up and coming musicians to kind of try and get their foot in the door. People can't do it by themselves. It's, 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 no one ever has done it by themselves, no matter what. Uh, and so this is a great place and a great opportunity to interact with people who've done some things and maybe learn a few things. Artists need to be educated on the different revenue streams and, and, and how to work with, with producers and songwriting and understanding all the different facets that come from uh, you know, performing rights organizations to how to get your songs in film and TV. So we want to take a lot of that information, bring it together, and educate artists. Give them the opportunity to not just learn how to do your songs, but to learn how to go forward in this business. I was actually part of a mentorship program when I was younger, and I think having different programs like that, and especially something like this, they're very key because uh, what it does is it furthers people along quicker. Alan Slate, uh, Gary's father and Allie's grandfather, was a big believer in emerging talent uh, from his broadcasting days. He's a legendary broadcaster. And throughout his career, he was all supporting young emerging talent. Now we have other partners coming to us to also take part in this. HMV stepped up. HMV is going to host the final showcase uh, for the artists uh, on the last night. Um, but now we've got Twitter and Facebook have jumped on board. They want to do a social media audit of all the artists. And we've got more people coming into this. And so our hope is over the next few years, it's a five-year program that Slates have committed to. And so through that, we're going to develop you know, 15 or more artists and hopefully again get them to the Juno stage in the next year to two years. Try to ignore the cameras. It's and like, is this going to be edited? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. So we can be frank and then... Fucking right it is. Absolutely. <laughs> we, we have this, this somewhat unenviable task of narrow, having to narrow down 10 very worthy candidates down to three. And uh, for, for what we hope will be a real push in the right direction for their, their respective musical paths and, and careers. Uh, so I just want to say first and foremost that I thought that all, all of the people involved in this uh, put together not just great records, but I, I, I was really, really uh, taken by the, by the quality of the songwriting, the recording, um, that, that everybody put forward into this. And, and I mean, they, they certainly deserve to be uh, in the, the short list of the top 10. Are they willing to go all the way with that? Like if that stuff came on and I'm rocking out in my car, like I'm gonna keep it on and rock out. I wanna hang out with you, man. Let's go, <laughs> where are we going? Do I think that dude's gonna like have a big song? I do think so, but it, I, do I think it has any real legs the way like great artists 
like will continue to sort of persevere and reinvent themselves? I don't think so. She never has ever made music she believes in because she doesn't make music. She sings songs that are, like she's not, that's not, this isn't her. We're not a label, we're just, we're helping artists develop hopefully. And so if we're gonna put chips and try to help people, we wanna help people who are authentic. We are ready. We know who the finalists are. Come check it out. We had a uh, very, uh, very close decision. Um, literally uh, uh, four points separated. So our top three picks are from Vancouver, Derival. Thanks so much. So, can, go yeah, ahead. I can really say like our heart rates are just going. <laughs> <laughs> from St. John's, Newfoundland, fortunate ones. <laughs> we actually just googled how to take a screenshot in case all of you were in it. <laughs> Command shift four. And from Winnipeg, slow leaves. Wow. Wow, oh, thank you. That's great. Wonderful. Wow. That's uh yeah, that's very exciting. My wife will be thrilled. Uh I'm thrilled. It's uh yeah, it's great. This is awesome. This is going to be the great opportunity to come to Toronto um, and really get an education about the music business. Um, you're going to get a chance to meet some fantastic people. And we're working with the team at Coalition Music and, their, and Canada's Music Incubator to create a real sort of customized education for you when you guys come out here. It'll be a really, really cool experience. And uh, a lot of other stuff to go with that as well. Chance to come down to the Juno Awards in Calgary in 2016 and lots of performance opportunities as well. And a music video. From Much Facts, <laughs> which is awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Holy smokes. Thank you. We're looking forward to hanging with you guys in Toronto, man. Yeah. So we'll see you, uh, see you soon. Say hi to the rest of the guys in the band, too. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk again real soon. See Congratulations. You see you later. Right. So on top of the master class coming here, it was really important that this program was not like a lot of those contests that happen. A band wins, they get handed a check, an opportunity, and everybody sort of walks away. This is about artist development. We want to stay helping these artists for the next six months. So along with coming here for the master class, next April, they're going to come to the Juno Awards in Calgary. You're going to a chance to showcase, play in front of the whole industry out there, great networking opportunity, and one of them is going to get the chance to play at the Juno Gala Dinner on the Saturday night in front of literally the entire industry and all the nominees. So an incredible opportunity for them to showcase their music to the industry.